Hello and welcome back, this is Coinpig. So, today, to celebrate the release of the new £50 note, I thought I'd hunt some old £50 notes. I've got some notes here, I've got £5,000 in £50 notes. This is the biggest coin hunt, except of course it's a note hunt, <laughs> that I've ever done. And um, yes, these won't be hanging around for too long. Shall we? I'll put it that way, shall I? So, they come in two packs of 2500 so we'll start with one, rather than try to do both at once, and um, see what we can find. So, oh, there's actually a, a label on here, so it comes from King's Cross, so, and from November. Let's have a look in there, shall we? I don't know how you open these, these are strapped, so it's sealed, I'm strapped, I'm sure how you open these. Right, so I don't know whether these are all the same way round, no, they're not, which is a bit of a shame. They don't seem to do that anymore, banks, and they remember back in the day when they all had to be the right way round. Well, we'll see if I can get these all in order the right way round, and um, I suppose we'll have to open the seal on this thing. If it, well, they will slide out, of course they will. What we'll do, I will go through them this way round, and then I'll switch them around, sort them out, and we'll go through the serial numbers, because there's chances of finding anything this way around pretty slim, but I'll bring you in if we do find anything. Okay, so I've put them all in order. So I've gone through these on the uh, Queen's portrait side, if you like, and just the only significant thing really on these is you've got the two different chief cashiers on these. I think it's I can I can never remember Victoria Clennand I think it's called is I think it's Victoria Clennand and Chris Salmon. Um, so on these, so those are the only significant features on the fifty pound note on this side. Obviously, there's security features. Um, I'll go through those at the end. Obviously, this is probably the one and only time I'm going to be doing a fifty pound paper. 50 band uh, note hunt because they are due to change as I'm recording in approximately four or five days time four days I think it is or five days no five days <laughs> well in under a week anyway so yeah this is probably the one and only time I'm going to be able to do one of these hunts now they won't be withdrawn straight away they will continue uh, in circulation for a while they still haven't removed the the old paper 20 bar notes as yet so let's turn this over and we'll have a look we're going to start at the bottom of this bar have a look at the serial numbers and any possible errors i don't think i'll spot any um, it's quite rare to find any of those so we're looking for anything that we might find um collectible in in some way and it's usually the serial numbers um, that could be an actual error. Um, the chances of that are pretty slim, but we'll have a look at the serial numbers as we go through. There's something there, but it's not going to be worth taking up. But yeah, it's, it's a pity that the five wasn't a one. And then it'll be 60, 60, 1, 1, 1, 1. But that's not going to help. And again, if that 5 had been a 0, that would have been a nice, nice, was it radar? <laughs> yeah, if that, if that 5 had been... These 5s are annoying, aren't they? <laughs> if that had been uh, a 0, it would have been... 08881880. Mm, slightly annoying. You have to be p picky on these 50 band notes because it's, well, 50 band. So, and obviously things like the writing on these notes as well. You know, sometimes they write all over them. Um, and that is not what collectors want.
Uh huh. There's a trinary. AH11911149. It's a pity that 4 wasn't a 1 again. That would be a binary then. Or a 9, I suppose. It would have been more pleasing if it would have been a 1. Actually, I'll keep that one to one side for the moment. Just to have another look at that one. I haven't found a birthday note yet, even. And again, it's close, but not really anything. I mean, that one is technically, I suppose, a birthday note. Uh, 080948. So we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. Oh, a trinary again. 36330603. One or two more threes or sixes would have done. Or yeah, I mean, it's, it is a trinary, but I don't think it's worth looking at again, but we'll keep it to one side since it's close. Uh, two eight. Oh. Again, that one technically could be a birthday note, but we'll, we'll keep that one just in case. We'll, we'll add them up at the end to see how many. Interesting, but I don't think it would be worth keeping that one. So, that's the first half gone through. I'll have a look through these just to see if I've missed anything um, shortly, but these are the ones that were somewhat interesting. But I don't think we'll keep most of these. That one obviously is a birthday note, but it is not in the best condition, it's got a bit of a fold in it. Um, that one, I think we'll put that one back actually. I don't think that one's worth keeping. Um, yeah, that one is a trinary, but as I said, it's it would have been better as a binary. But that one's sort of cool, that one's a birthday note as is, or potentially, a birthday note, as is this one. So, the first, the, well, it's the American way of doing dates, of course. First, the 20th isn't, doesn't exist, but <laughs> in the British way of doing the dates. But you could have the 20th of January, 1931, if it's the American version. So, and they're all A something notes, A-H notes in those cases. So, we'll keep those to one side, we'll add those in a moment. Alright, so we got the second strap of these notes. There's no nothing on these. So I'll do the same with this. I'll go through the first half, make sure they're all in the right alignment, and then um, have a look at the serial numbers. Let's open them first though. Let's have a look through these. these. Yep, these have got to be sorted as well, so I'll do that and then come back to you. Okay, so I've got these all the right way around. Had a quick look through, couldn't see anything obvious. So again, we'll go straight onto the serial numbers. Let's move those out of the way so we can actually we'll get them mixed up. Well, I mean, technically that could be a birthday note. It's 12th. It was, again, it's the, the American style of date. Clock. 
close again. That nine had been a three. That would have been a decent try, anyway. Eighteen, eleven, eighty-five, fifteen. But you know, it was a trinary. But again, trinaries are only really worth keeping if there's some sort of pattern to them. And this one isn't really. Uh, it doesn't really have a pattern to it, does it? Really? If the if the last five had been an eight, maybe. Well, actually, then it wouldn't have been. No, it probably wouldn't make much difference, really. Again, could be a birthday note, but it's sort of the the American way writing dates. Well, there's a very close one. Sixteen sixteen zero zero one seven. Really, one note out. Well, looks of it on that one. Coming to the end. And this is, I think, the last one. And that's it. So we found even less than the second one. Really. Just this this last one here, which isn't really um, one that I'm going to keep anyway, because it's a US style birthday note. So yeah, not really. So there's only three here, of which I don't know that any of them are spectacular. I don't think we'll keep that one either. We might have a look at these two again because they have a UK date on that one and there are is that five ones in that number not consecutive unfortunately so I don't think it will have much value if anything but um, yeah, it's the best we can do that's what well if I put those two on <laughs> that's what five thousand pounds in fifty pound notes looks like not really that big a pile, is it really? And these are going straight back to the bank. So let's have a look at those two. Yeah, so these are the two that I'll be keeping for the moment just to investigate. I probably won't keep both of them. Neither of them are in brilliant condition, but um, we'll have a look, see if they're worth anything. I'll get back to you. So not much there, unfortunately, in that hunt. It is. 5,000 pounds or 100 notes. I've done previous note hunts as well and we haven't found a great deal but I thought I'd try something different. Let me know if you like that sort of thing and if you hunt notes yourself if you found anything and so on. So at the moment I've got a giveaway underway. It's the 600, the delayed 600 and 700 subscriber giveaway. So you can win two prizes up for grabs for the 600 and for the 700 subscribers and um, at the moment I'm um, a bit disappointed in the number of entries so far but that means that you've got a better chance than average of winning hopefully so don't forget to enter i'll put the link in the description below and thanks for tuning in thanks for watching i'll leave you with some pictures of the 50 pound notes i've just hunted thanks for tuning in keep collecting